welcome to the channel. My name is Lashing. I'm one half of Parlay 8, and I am going to do part two of our book series in this particular book review of Pirate Woman by Laura Sook Duncombe. Subtitle of this book is called The Princesses, Prostitutes, and Privateers Who Ruled the Seas. To be honest, I grabbed this book with extreme earnest. I bought it after watching The Pirate Kingdom, which was a Netflix special that I'm sure many of the pirate enthusiasts have seen. Uh, the author was interviewed within that show, uh, and I was just like, pirate, oh, pirate women, all right, sweet, let's get that. I've been wanting to, to collect a wide range of resources, and something that was solely dedicated to pirate women was definitely at the top of that list. So I jumped right into the book and started to read it. And immediately struggled. Now, I'm a big book reader. I'm a big historical reader. I have a lot of resources. I enjoyed getting into the nitty gritty of that. I just had a hard time staying interested in the pace of the book and the language in it. It was more structured as an embellished storytelling. And considering most facts about women pirates are from stories, I can understand that philosophy around how the book was written. But the diction of the book seemed very heavily biased. I want more Pirate Woman. I want the facts to be true, but the truth in the world is that I don't know what I can believe in some of these chapters and what I don't know what to believe. There are some good facts within the book, and it also introduced me to newer pirates I was not aware of. Some women that were not even really pirates, uh, but still an interesting history to them. I'll keep it in the library. I'll use it as a reference. It's another perspective, another point of view. And as you can see that we've already kind of done that from Sheave the Anchors for Pillage Overloan, our season finale. I looked at Grace O'Malley, Jean de Clisson, Anne Graff, and Anne Bonny. <laughs> if you can get through the first chapter without wanting to put it down, you'll get through the book just fine. If not, be like me. It's okay. Cherry pick the sections you want to read about your favorite pirate woman and move on. So until next time, keep reading.